Hello guys, what's up? This is WRG Productions and welcome to my channel. Today I have an amazing gradient animation tutorial for you guys, which is very easy, very simple, and you can do this in After Effects to just to make your uh, social media posts or anything uh, look as uh, slightly animated and very very professional. So uh, before before that, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and let's get straight to the video. So after opening After Effects, just go over here in Composition, select New Composition, and just keep this animation as 8 seconds and the frame rate as 30. I am using 1920 by 1080 pixel background, or oh, but you can use it any anything you want. Hit OK. Then I'm going to import my colors over here in this composition. You can see over these colors, uh, but I will provide the link to these colors in the description, the color code exact. So I'm just going to take it over here. This is the main step. Uh, select right click and select new shape layer. After selecting this shape layer, just go and select the rectangle tool and make this rectangle filling the entire screen it doesn't matter what the color is you can keep the stroke zero now the next thing we are going to do is just right click on this shape layer and select layer style gradient overlay after selecting gradient overlay, you need to open this drop, drop down over here and select the colors over here, edit gradient. After clicking this, you will see these two pickers. You can just uh, select this and then select this eyedropper tool and bring this color over here. Then you need to do the same with this one, select this. Clicking the eyedropper and selecting your color. You can go ahead and type the color codes over here and you will get the same result. So I'm just going to hide this uh, color layer. Now the next thing you want to do is uh, just go over here in angle, select 45 degrees from over here. After selecting 45 degrees, uh, you need to press this stopwatch button, which is the keyframe. A keyframe will be created over here. Then you need to go at the end of the composition just slightly before it and just put one over here. This is going to rotate your entire gradient to 360 degrees as you can see over here. So uh, now just make sure that the Scale over here is 120 percent. It will give a it will give a nice uh, blending within the colors. So I'm just going to start the animation again. You can hit spacebar to start the animation. So you can see that the gradient is revolving. Very simple design. So now just uh, select these keyframes. By selecting this, press F9 on your keyboard and it will easy ease it. Select this keyframe, press F9. This will ease out the animation and it will make the animation more smooth. After that, if you need to place text over here, then just right click, add new. And add the text. You can type in anything you want. And you can just align it. By selecting this, you can align it in the center. There is also another way to align it. which is the proper way selecting the align tool. 
now we have this animation and we are going to play it you can see it's a really simple design uh, nothing too complicated and uh, you can just write your uh, uh, text over here and just animate it now in order to make this gradient change colors we just need to do a very simple task we need to right click over here select new and select the adjustment layer after selecting this you need to go over here in effects and preset type hue and you will find this effect hue saturation just bring this effect on top of the adjustment layer and when you just move the slider you can see that this gradient is going to change colors so I'm just going to bring this back and select the stopwatch over here channel range and then move this uh, slider to the very end just before the end and then move this uh, slider to wherever you want to place it uh, depends on how many colors you want to change so I'm just going to place it over here uh, if you take this to the very end then you will see that maximum colors will be changed but uh, over here is fine and now we, we are going to play this and you can see that this gradient is changing the colors very frequently so that's a very cool effect now just to make this text more visible we are going to select this text select the color of the text I'm going to change this to black select ok and now you can see that this uh, text is much more visible on a lighter background because we are using lighter colors in the background if you are using darker colors then you can use a lighter color text so now just go over here in file and you need to export this document add to render queue select the settings lossless I'm selecting QuickTime but you can select any format you want select OK then just uh, type in your uh, location and uh, your text click save and then you are just going to render this alright guys so once your file has rendered out then your graded animation is going to look something like this and uh, you can see that these uh, colors are changing very frequently so it's very easy and very simple animation and I hope you like this video so please leave a comment subscribe and uh, please uh, share this as much as you can thanks for watching this video